Oxygen 6 has just been released and now we can finally breathe again. So in this video, I'll be going over my initial thoughts on the new features on Oxygen 6 and doing a comparison between Oxygen 4.9, which is now Oxygen Classic, and Oxygen 6. So if this is something you'd like to learn more about, then watch this video. So Oxygen 6 has just been released and this is bringing a lot of excitement in the web development WordPress community. So looking at over here, it's a completely new code base. So we can check out their article here that they rewrote the Oxygen code base from the ground up. So this means any old Oxygen websites using Oxygen 4, 4.7 is now considered to be an Oxygen classic. So that's one of the most major points to note is that using Oxygen 6 would be for any new sites moving forward. So looking at their article here, they're still committing to supporting Oxygen Classic. So with Oxygen 6, it's more like breakdance based on what I read so far. And if we look over here in the downloads, so if you have a lifetime subscription, then you'll be able to upgrade for free. So now the old versions of Oxygen is called Oxygen Classic. And then over here, they did expand the old versions of Oxygen further by adding breakdance compatibility. So that's kind of, I would say, the real Oxygen upgrade from the old version is adding capabilities for uh, breakdance. So I would consider that to be Oxygen 5 essentially is with these extensions included. Okay, so to get Oxygen 6, you would need to download this one here. So right now it's in version 6.0 beta. And then the, late, the last version of Oxygen was 4.9. So you can still get that here. Okay, so over here, I have a fresh install of WordPress in it and I just installed Oxygen 6.0. So we can just have a look here. So just go to the home. It's still in beta, so a lot of the stuff it's not fully completed. So we still have our templates here and headers and footers. Okay, and then this one is new over here. So I have the, so I have Oxygen Classic installed on my current website. So it's over here. So we can come kind of compare and contrast. So let's just go back to the settings on Oxygen and we can kind of see what's similar and what's been changed. Okay, so I'll just go back to the admin. So this is Oxygen Classic. So we can see that the new components module here has been added and headers and footers. So this is Oxygen 6 over here. So there is some differences now. Okay, so I'm gonna just create a test page here using Oxygen 6. So go here and add new page. Yeah, I'll just name this home page and publish. Okay, and then edit in Oxygen. Okay, so this loaded quite quickly, but again, this is a empty website, so the performance would be affected when there's more content. But on a fresh site, it's looking pretty fast. Okay, so let me just create a container here so we can create a container. So yeah, so this still looks similar to how it was in Oxygen 4.7, 4.9. Okay, and then there are naming conventions over here. So we're looking at their elements. Okay, so we can click into our cont container here and we can create a class, let's say home page. And then when you create a class, it allows you to access more specifications in terms of CSS. So let's say, so the sizing, spacing, and all your other CSS selectors. Okay, and then just going back to Oxygen 4.9 over here. So let's just select this container. So in Oxygen Classic, each element is marked by an ID. I'm seeing over here in Oxygen 6, it's, it's more simplified. So you can specify the actual tag over here. Okay, so I'll just do this one to be the header here. Okay, so looking at here are other elements available. So we have basic, advanced, so we can do custom code here. So short codes, so yeah, your standard 
page builder elements. So again, you have your post loop builders and then just your custom code elements. So again, Oxygen is catered more towards developers. So they're going to be working with custom code more in your project. Otherwise, I think going with breakdowns would be better as it's more drag and drop like Elementor. Okay, so let me just continue with this home page component. So let's just add some text. Okay, so we can enter a text and then and you can add the class here and then you can specify the tag. So let's make this H1. And then I'll add an image. You know, just add it. Okay, so I just upload an image here. Okay, and then you can just select the actual container here. So we come here into the structure function and then select this and then we can access our container again through here. Okay, so here in Oxygen 4.7, again, there's more elements available as there's third party capabilities. So some of these are additional add ons. So once it's released out of beta and these add ons are converted over to Oxygen 6, then you'll be able to access widgets and elements that you were using prior. Okay, so I'll just create another section here. So let's just do another container down below. We can just click into our container here and give it another class. So let's say main. Okay, then we can choose the layout. So let's say flex. And then let's add in a container within this container. Okay, and then again, we can add in say three images. So let's do one, then go into our structure here and click into that and then add in another image, say two. And then add in another image, three and then click into this and then we can choose our flex, our flex box direction. So we can say it's vertical here like this. Okay, then looking at our tools here, we can see we have a revert and redo function and then as well as our history here. So if we check in the old version, so that's still there and history as well. So that's still as how it was before. So over here we have our selectors So that's over here. And then this is variable. So I don't see that one here. So I think that one is new. So we can click into that and then we can add in our variables here. Okay, so let's save and then play. So I guess that's just putting the website in full screen. Okay, so that's a lot faster than how it was here on the old version. If you want to see this, how you would refresh the the page. But I'm really liking the interface here compared to the old version here. It seems to be more snappy and responsive. Okay, and then let's just go back into the settings here just to finish off. So go back into the admin, oxygen here, and then settings. Okay, and then we can see what's been added here. So you have settings for performance. So you can look over these to see if they're applicable to your project. So post types over here. So which post types are available. So if you create custom post types, you'll be able you'll be able to use oxygen as the page builder for that post. So advance. Okay, so just about your uploads and the amount of revision. So again, this is good for caching design library over here. Okay, so you have your password protection and design library. Okay, and then you can add the full site import and export feature. So, so I'm just looking over here to see where the import and export function would be because we had that over here in the old version of oxygen. But okay, so over here we have custom code. So that's pretty standard and then tools. Okay, so this is just for caching. So if your site's running slow, then you can regenerate the cache here. And then extensions. Okay, so this is empty, so nothing there yet in the beta version. As this becomes out of beta, then developers can create new extensions for Oxygen 6. Okay, great. So Oxygen 6 looks to be promising. So I'll continue with playing around with this new version of Oxygen and then 
I'll come up with another tutorial of a more detailed breakdown on creating a site with this new version of Oxygen. Then I can compare the differences between Oxygen Classic and Oxygen 6. So this includes the end of the video. I hope it was helpful and giving you an introduction to Oxygen 6. If you need help with any web development tasks, then you can check out my website, Maplet Media, to get in contact with me. Please like and subscribe to stay up to date on my latest videos, and thanks for watching.